We're doing another contest entry. This was for Edward, uh, Prog Hat. Uh, got a great channel, and if you're not familiar with uh, Edward's channel, I will put a link down below. I hope you'll uh, you'll uh, subscribe to his channel. But he has an 80s uh, contest, so he wants us to do three things. He wants us to to uh, show a favorite album from 1980, uh, a uh, favorite song from 1980, and favorite album cover. Look, first, I'll do favorite album of 1980. And uh, in 1980, I was 21 years old, I believe is correct. Yep, 21 turned 22. And uh, at that time, uh, there were a lot of uh, acoustic musicians that were experimenting with, uh, with the blending and uh, merging and mixing of styles. None more prominent than David Grisman and his album, the David Grisman Quintet 80 or just David Grisman Quintet 80. And uh, this is an excellent album, mostly uh, compositions that he wrote, but it also includes a composition from John Coltrane on here and some of the other musicians in his band. He always had the best musicians. Uh, and in this case, uh, Mark O'Connor, best known as a, a violinist, is the main guitarist, of course. Grisman is a mandolin player, and uh, Daryl Anger is the uh, the violinist or fiddler with him. Favorite song of 1980, a new artist in 1980, the beginnings of that uh, neo-traditional movement that was kind of a counterbalance in country music to uh, to the modern Nashville sound, which had been so pre prevalent for. Uh, about 20 years in Nashville, John Anderson's uh, debut album, and uh, so look how young he is right there, and uh, his song on here that really, there, there's several I could have picked, uh, The Girl at the End of the Bar, uh, three quarter waltz time song, Lionel Delmore, the son and nephew of the two great uh, duet singers, the Delmore brothers from the 40s, 30s and 40s. Uh, they, uh, he and John Anderson wrote this song. The girl at the end of the bar loved this song. She's not the for company. She don't like to remember. She once let herself go. She's not there to complain. She just wants to remain the girl at the end of the bar. And third, the uh, album cover from 1980 that I like the most. And that would be Carlene Carter and uh, Musical Shapes. Look at that cover. There's the back side of the album, but I, I just love musical shapes, and the album is all these different uh, shapes that she uses, and her, the letters, and the musical notes in the air, and and look at the way she's standing. Old skinny-legged girl makes me want to carry her to a big buffet and feed her real good. Uh, she's still around, Carlene Carter, uh, June Carter's daughter. Uh, so there it is, uh, Prog Hats. 1980 contest and my three entries and I'll remind everybody be kind to your neighbors because guess what folks we're all neighbors we've got to get along <laughs>